Hi, just a quick video. This is actually a bit of a follow-up to one from a couple of years back, EV Blog 1371, and I'll link that in if you haven't seen it, where I looked at doing a 10,000 hour uh, battery life multimeter, and I actually got the GDM multimeter, which is, hang on, which was this one here, um, but unfortunately I don't have the front panel. I'm going to have to find that. Oh, um, it's got to be somewhere. Anyway, I looked at this and I think this measured about like two and a half milliamps, three milliamps, something like that, uh, current consumption. Um, so anyway, in that video, I looked at using uh, some lithium thionyl uh, chloride, if that's how you pronounce it correctly, leave it in the comments down below. You know I can't pronounce stuff. Lithium thionyl, thion, thionyl chloride uh, batteries because they have um, only 1% discharge per year and they're designed for like low current applications like uh, multimeters like this and they have an incredible uh, curve that is basically flat as a tack at uh, 3.6 volts and then boom it's a brick wall right at the end and absolutely fantastic so I thought I'd just measure the Fluke 37 here because yeah, you've seen this in a video, because it's got a massive battery compartment there, right? No shortage of room for a massive amount of batteries. But I think I don't need massive amount. Probably only a couple of uh, uh, D cells, lithium thionyl chloride D cells um, in there could power this thing for like the rest of my life, <laughs> like the rest of the operational life of this multimeter. You know, uh, this thing's, uh, what, 30 years old already? I don't know how much life it's, but surely for the rest of its life, um, it would operate it. So I just thought I'd measure the current consumption here. So I've got my Roden Schwartz, and you can see um, that at uh, 6.5 volts here, it's only 0.3 milliamps or thereabouts so it's actually it's not much this is, thing runs off the sniff of an oily rag because i think this has like a thousand hours from your nine volt uh, battery it's one of the longest battery life uh, meters on the market as the old uh, fluke ones were you know and there's all the stories about oh i had a fluke 70 series when i was a boy and it's still on the same battery you know and like it just lasts for Ever. So anyway, um, it's just got a regular 9 volt uh, battery snap in there, but I thought I'd measure where does it actually drop out. It turns out it drops out at about nine, uh, six point, somewhere between 6.4 and 6.5 volts. Now the interesting thing about this is that the battery symbol won't come on. It only uh, measures the battery symbol when you actually turn, when, when you power it on like that. And there it is there. The battery symbols come on now. So whereas if I... Uh, we go back up to 6.5 and I turn it off and on yeah it's like a latching thing it tests it once when you power it on and you know it, it's good enough because it's going to have like an auto um, no this thing doesn't no this thing doesn't have an auto power off so that's interesting huh. is that a quirk anyway I maybe it's got like a real long term maybe it tests it once a minute or something maybe I can actually keep it in fact Oh, okay. I'll turn it back to I'll turn it to 6.3, shall I? Anyway, um, and see if it actually comes on during the uh, this video. But it doesn't seem to. So anyway, um, scream in the comments if it does. So, uh, say 6.5 volts. Um, lithium thionyl chloride cells are at 3.6 volt nominal. So you could put two of those in series, and bingo, that gives you over you know more than enough uh, voltage, like 7.2 uh, volts to actually, um, you know, power this thing. And as I said, it's got the response of the battery is like the the capacity curve is like a flat line and then a just brick wall at the end. It's as near to perfect as you can get um, for a um, battery. And they're actually, the lithium thionyl chlorides, they're actually a liquid uh, battery. So it's a, it's a sealed container. So in theory, they could leak i guess but i don't know uh, leave it in the comments down below if you've ever heard of a lithium thionyl uh, chloride battery actually uh leaking but anyway um yeah they've got like one percent discharge uh per year so you know 20 years you're only looking at 20 percent loss in capacity so it's really good sniff of an oily rag stuff so really i don't need any more than that but i can actually yeah look see the battery symbol has not come on so it looks like it's uh that's like a bug. I would call that a bug. Anyway, let's go up nine. Can we actually do, can we go up nine? It's not 9.7, 10 volts. It's not increasing current there. 
There you go. I just got a 10K resistor uh, plugged in there. And um, ohms range is uh, the same. Basically, current ranges, it does go up to 0 0.6. Milliamp 0.65 milliamps. Millivolt mode. Oh, and AC millivolts. Okay. So it's, you know, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 ish. Worst case. Diode mode. 0.5. So even if I increase that voltage right up, just over volt it there. So you could actually probably have three cells in series if you really were keen, but you only need two because it works down to 6.5, 6.4. So that'll come on now. It should come on at 6.4. Battery symbol. Yep. But it's still going to measure bang on, of course, where that operationally uh, drops out. I, I can actually show you that. What, watch this, it'll just drop off. I don't know whether the accuracy will drop off, but it should just cut out completely. 5.2, 5.1, 4.9. Geez, we're getting down there. <laughs> but it should. Oh. oh, there we go. It just, it just completely drops out and it doesn't, oh yeah, it does actually recover there. And there you go. But the battery light comes on at 6.5. So anyway, that's what I wanted to test. You can easily put two lithium thi thionyl chloride batteries in that in series. And this thing would last forever. So what's the capacity of a D-cell? So the capacity of a uh, lithium thionyl chloride D-cell is about 17 amp hours. Uh, I'll put up the data sheet here. So I've got the confuser out here. 17 amp hours divided by uh, 0.3. Uh, let, let's say 0.5 milliamps uh, shall we 0.5 milli and oh 34,000 hours operation <laughs> from a set of two lithium thionyl chloride d cells 34,000 hours operation what's that divided by 24 hours in a day <laughs> 1416 days divided by 365 days in a year oh that's actually Oh, 3.88, 3.8 years. Oh, I'm disappointed. Okay, maybe I should watch my original <laughs> um, video on this. So, ah, oh, 3.8, that, that's sounded... Man, really? Did I get that right? Yeah, I got that right, 3.88 years. Oh, I'm disappointed. Right, so I need to... <laughs> I need to fill that thing with D-cells. Um, I, like multiple ones in parallel of course you know you can just switch it off but the whole idea is that you know you could like leave it on indefinitely that would be that would be the whole purpose of it um but uh, yeah i don't know is it worth is it worth it leave it in the comments down below <laughs> catch you next time